Okay guys, I'm going to have a look at this question for you here now because it is quite complicated. So Bob is doing a building project and we need to find out how much money does he need. Now we know that one sixth of the money for the entire building project is 246.56. Now I know it said dollars in the question but I made a mistake and wrote euros so we're just going to go with that. So if a sixth of something is this, then to find the whole thing, I need to multiply this by six. So I'm gonna do that first. Six sixes are 36, so my three tens go up here. Six fives are 30, plus that three is 33. Now again, 33, I've got another three tens up here. Six sixes are 36, and that three makes 39. Again, another three tens going up here. Six fours are 24 and that three makes 27. So then two tens going up here at the end. Six twos are 12 and that two makes 14. So, okay, the cost of Bob's building project altogether is this number here, 1,479 euro 36 cent. But we know that Bob has some money already. Bob has, one twenty fourth of what he needs. So he has one twenty fourth of this. So if I want to find out how much money he actually has, I would take this number here and divide it by twenty four. That's what I would do. But that's long division. And if there's any way for me to avoid doing long division, I'm going to avoid doing long division because long division is absolutely horrible and nobody likes it. So what could I do instead? Well, I know that a sixth is this. Can I use knowing that a sixth is this to find out what a 24th is? Is there a relationship between 24 and six. Well, I know that six times what is 24? And six is a what of 24? Six times four is 24. So six is a quarter of 24. And that actually means then if we flip that, that one twenty-fourth is a what of one sixth. It's a quarter of one sixth. And I can prove that here. So if I get something and I divide it into six. This is divided into sixths now. If I decide to take one of these sixths and divide it into quarters, and then I do the same thing to all of them, we will soon find out that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I've just proved here that a sixth, if you divide it into quarters, makes 1 24th. So my sixth was 246.56. So if I divide that into quarters, divided by four, four into two doesn't go, four into 24 goes six times, four into six goes once with a remainder of two, four into 25 goes six times with a remainder of one, and four into 16 goes four times. That a quarter of my sixth, which is my 1 24th that I needed, is 61.64. So Bob has 61, 64. So what does he need? Well, the job is, 
gonna cost 1479.36. Bob has 6164. Let's subtract this. Six take away four is two. Three take away six, I cannot do. 13 take away 6 is 7, 8 take away 1 is 7, 7 take away 6 is 1, 4 take away 0 is 4, 1 take away 0 is 1. So our answer is 1,417.72.